friends in our last class we had discussed about the different types of productivity and while discussing this particular part of different types of productivity we come to know the productivity is having two different types the first type of productivity is called as the total productivity to obtain the total productivity we are required total output as well as total input the second type of productivity is partial productivity the partial productivity can be obtained as total output divided by individual input that means if i want to find out the energy productivity the energy productivity can be obtained as total output divided by energy input materials productivity can be obtained as total output divided by materials input likewise it is possible for us to measure or it is possible for us to have different types of productivity and we can measure those particular individual productivity also once we know the different types of productivity what are the different advantages which we are going to get for those particular different types of productivities what are the different disadvantages which we have to face for those different types of productivities now we are moving towards the productivity measurement how the productivity is going to be measured and to measure this particular different productivities or different productivity we require certain models now what are those models which are used for measurement of productivity to start with this particular first type of productivity measurement model the first model is called as craig and harris model now what this particular craig and harris model states basically craig and harris model gives us the productivity as output divided by the l plus c plus r plus q this particular term p o l c r q are nothing but p is nothing but the total productivity o is nothing but the total output whereas the input which you are going to use as l is nothing but the labor input factor c is nothing but the capital input factor r is nothing but the raw material and purchase parts whereas q is nothing but the other miscellaneous which we are going to use to generate or to have that particular output in existence that means the craig and harris model basically going to focus on this particular total productivity as total output divided by summation of all this particular labor capital raw material or the other miscellaneous things which we are going to use to generate that particular total output the second type of model to measure this particular productivity is taylor and davis model now basically taylor and davis model state that the total factor productivity can be obtained as these different terms just like s plus c plus mp minus e divided by w plus b plus kw plus kf into fb into df now what these particular terms this tf tfp is nothing but total factor productivity s is nothing but the net sale adjusted c is nothing but the inventory change mp is nothing but the manufacturing plant and e is nothing but the exclusions which we have to subtract from this particular s plus c plus mp this gives me the output which were generated within this particular organization now to generate that particular output we are using different inputs the first input is obviously we are providing the wages and salary we are providing certain benefits to those particular workers kw is nothing but the working capital kf is nothing but the fixed capital which we already provided fb is nothing but the investors contribution whereas df which is we are going to multiply this particular term by df df is nothing but the deflection factor that means through this particular slide we come to know that this particular craig and harris model is basically going to focus on total productivity whereas this taylor and davis model is going to focus on total factor productivity moving ahead the third type of or third model which we are going to use to measure this particular productivity is called as apc model what this particular apc model state apc model gives me the idea regarding the profitability 
which we can find out as revenue by cost what revenue we are generated and what cost we already put to get that particular thing whereas the profitability we can again define as this revenue is nothing but the total output quantities which we already manufactured and what is the sales price for individual that particular quantity the multiplication of these two that is total quantity multiplied by sales price that is going to give me the revenue which we are going to earn for our organization at the same time the cost is nothing but the total quantities which we have already which we are going to manufacture or which we have manufactured multiply by the unit cost for that particular thing that is going to give me the total cost of that particular you can say the input which you are going to produce for that particular generating that particular revenue this output quantities i am just going to modify those particular formula output quantities i am going to divide by input quantity and then i am going to multiply this particular sales price by unit cost now this output quantity is divided by input quantity that is going to give me the productivity whereas the sales price divided by this particular unit cost is going to give me the price recovery and therefore in short we can say that this particular apc model is giving relationship between productivity and price recovery now based on this particular different models which we already discussed the question for you is list out different productivity measurement models just think over it